Hello, my fellow digital duelists. Welcome back to the channel and another rendition of how cheap is it? Some of you may have noticed that Diva is doing really quite well this format and some people might even think, man, maybe I want to build that deck, but I don't know how much it costs. If only there was a way to just see how much did that cost. Well, tell you what, this is the video for you then, because we're going to dive right into the Diva deck, both min rarity and max rarity, and see where it would fall in the prices. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, please let me know in the comments. And of course, as always, a like and subscribe, that would be great. So we'll start here with Feng Long Dong Man here, who uh, is 2650 and you really do need four copies of it, which is okay. So we'll put 2650. Obviously we're doing these prices in US. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, prices in US dollars and then four copies. We're at $106 right off the bat. Right, right off the bat here. Oh, holy moly. This is looking expensive. Is it? I don't know. What about the next card? So, Azulongmon Ace, uh, the, these four sovereigns, right? Ibanmumon, Azuchalmon, and uh, the other one, who's not loading right now, Baihumon Ace. They are very cheap, as you can see here, right? Uh, this one ranges from 19 cents, 9 cents, 8 cents, 5 cents. So... And that's not including shipping, obviously. So I'm going to be really, really simple here. I'm going to just say that each of these cards are 25 cents each. And if you just want to own the play set, so you can like play test on and on your own and see, you know, maybe I won't play four Zuchalmones. Maybe I'll just buy four just in case, because it's a 25 cent card. Then that's fine. And I definitely recommend doing that because you never know, right? So we're gonna call it just one, 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 and we're gonna say we're buying four, 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 four quantities of each. Four dollars a play set. Oh, sorry, that's not what I want to do. 0 0.25, 25 cents per. My bad. My my bad guys. Anyway, so a dollar a play set. I think that is incredibly reasonable. Now we get to a really interesting part of the deck. The option cards. I, I, when I say interesting, I'm, I'm really just kidding. Look how cheap they are. They're nothing. They're literally nothing, but uh, again, with shipping, it could be a little bit of money. So just for the sake of, you know, being consistent, we'll say you want to buy four of each of these and they're 25 cents each again. Sure, you know, whatever. Sure. Sure. No problem. Another play set of cards for a dollar each. Okay. No worries. Now we get into the real fun stuff. The uncommons, the level fives that most people play 20 of. And look, I only grabbed a sample of these. Even Antilamon from uh, EX4. It ain't worth that much. So we're just going to call this column 20 level 5s. And we're going to say... Like, like, like a 10 cents each times 20. Wow. $2 for 20 uncommons and commons. I, I think that's reasonable. Not, I think that's perfectly reasonable. And by the way, if you look at the actual deck count, this is 48 cards right now, right? Your deck's like almost done. Now, you won't actually play four of each of these ace monsters, so whatever. There's other cards you can play, which we're going to get to here. But yeah, it started off really bad because the Fanglongs ran you over $100. But the rest of the deck ain't that much. Take a look here at uh, Analog Youth. Near Mint, we'll call it $6.50 each, and most people play anywhere from two to four of these. So we'll say four. Just to be thorough, you might spend the most amount of money on this. $26 for a place of Analog Youth. Okay, now, now we're at $140, bucks, whatever. What about Heaven's Judgment? You know, some people play four copies of this card in the deck, and it's 50 cents each plus shipping. So we'll just call it 50 cents, and maybe buy four. Another playset of an uncommon, a common, sorry, for $2. Wow. And let's not forget the egg that most people play. Mommy D Reaper uh, at 79 cents plus shipping. You know, we'll call this one a dollar each. Just, just a high roll. It's a dollar each and you need four. So that just like, just like that. If you're playing a Fang Long deck with like no tech cards and this is your skeleton, Gets a little more 50 cards, but you'll buy and then you'll play test and you'll cut some of these aces and then you'll be fine. It's $146 for lowest rarity. 
is $146 reasonable? I think it is. I think, you know, cheaper than Numemon, which is really cool. Don't need Ruin Mode or Death X for that deck. You just you just play Divas and Fanglongs and Four Sovereigns. It's not difficult. Uh, so that's fine. That's nice. Now, what about tech cards? Well, if you look at tech cards here, some people play Jedi. I've never seen anyone play more than two Jedi. So we're just going to call it 25 cents times two. Uh, we'll just call it at that. Some people play Jedi. Some people like Jedi. Okay, fine. Ukomon, though. Ukomon right now, we're going to call it a $5 card. And uh, some people do play an engine with Demi Maramon as their rig. Uh, basically, the Ukomon attacks. It gets in there. If it dies, you discard a level 5 or higher Digimon, which your deck is full of, by the way. And you draw two cards. So I think that's perfectly reasonable. We'll put Ukomon in there at 5 each. You need to place that, obviously. And then the BT15 Demi Mera here, which, uh, again, with shipping, we'll just call it 25 cents each, and now you need four copies of it. All right, fine. That is really as teched out as you're going to get. Some people do play other random things, but we're not going to account for those because those random things really aren't seeing any huge tournament swings in their favor. We've seen Ukomon Dev Diva decks top. We have seen that. We've seen them do really cool things. So I'll leave it alone that. And one card I actually forgot to bring up. I'll bring it up now. The last tech card. Mega Gargomon. Gargo. Me Mega. Mega Gar. There we go. Mega Gargomon Ace. Some people play this card now. And we're going to call it we're shipping $3 each. I've never seen anyone play more than two copies of this card. So we'll just call it at three and two copies so if you buy absolutely everything lowest rarity you're looking at 17350 if you really want to buy all the really techy cards and go nuts if you want to do that then then it kind of gets a little more expensive so it depends right if you want to play these expensive cards like ukamon mega gargamon which some people do play okay your deck is going to run up a little bit it's going to be closer to that total but if you just stick to the straight uh, shell, which is this shell. Well, you look at this again, $146 here. Some I was like, I heard something demonic in the background. I realized my, my TV is still on. I was watching The Conjuring 2. <laughs> I was like, what? Who's, who's chanting in my house? Anyway, anyway, okay, let's move on. Let's move on now. Now, let's say you want to take this to the next step and you want to max rarity this deck. I'll give you a rough ballpark on how much it'll cost you. Uh, $28, basically. Uh, times times four, uh, not much more than that. Okay, that's fine. We're at $112. We'll write 112 here. And let's say you want to buy four of each of the max rarity aces. We got $10 times four, which is 40. Then we got... Uh, We'll call it four dollars times four, which is sixteen, and then we got here uh, Zhu Chalmon Ace, which we're just gonna eh, shipping whatever. We'll call it five bucks each, and you're playing four, so that's twenty. And like I think buy Humon is nothing. Yeah, basically two bucks, three bucks shipping. We'll call it three bucks for shipping at four is twelve dollars. Wow, and you might play four full art analog youth at seventy each. That's two hundred and eighty dollars. So if it's just the bare bones skeleton, you add this uh, in, in substitute of these cards. Well, okay, four hundred and eighty dollars basically for your deck. You know, for max rarity, there are more expensive decks. Let me tell you. So I don't actually think that's that bad for max rarity. And if you want to throw in the Ukomons in there, uh, it's another like eighteen bucks per right now. So that's not too bad. Honestly. Diva is a good deck this format, and it's a good price. It's not expensive. It's not going to break your bank at $146 base. It's not going to actually break your bank, which is good. That's a good thing, right? So I'm going to leave it at that, and um, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below, and look forward to the next one. Have a great day. Bye.